Um, in response, campaigners are proposing a windfall tax on the bank. So Fran Boat writes this. Just like oil and gas companies, banks are cashing in on the cost of living crisis and should be subject to the same taxes on their unearned windfalls. The former Bank of England Deputy Governor, Governor Sir Charlie Bean, has supported the plan, suggesting that it could raise tens of billions of pounds if the government increased the existing surcharge on bank profits from 3% to 35% in line with the energy profits levy. This would raise £67 billion over the next five years. To find out more about the proposals, I asked Simon Yule from Positive Money to explain exactly how they'd work. So at the moment, we already have what is called the bank surcharge tax, which is essentially an additional levy um, put onto banks, kind of recognising that they you know, are well placed to make excess profits. We've had that for a number of years, but um, recently the Chancellor decided we actually need to cut that from 8% to 3%. So you remember at the budget, there was um, the energy profits levy, which saw um, a special levy on energy companies up to 35%. At the same time, the special levy on banks was actually um, decreased from 8% to 3%. So what you could quite simply do is just raise that, you know, reverse those cuts. And, you know, this isn't a utopian left-wing idea. This is something that even was done um, in the early 1980s under Margaret Thatcher. We had um, an economy in recession. We had um, oil companies making money out of the North Sea and banks profiting from higher interest rates. So even Thatcher back then introduced a windfall tax on the banks, kind of recognising that you know, these profits don't come from any increases in efficiency or productivity or better customer service, but they're simply unearned profits um, that are coming from higher interest rates. The banks haven't done anything to earn them. It's just a side effect of monetary policy. 